Hi guys! Today I have a small DIY video for you all. As you might have noticed, I have something new in my background and it is an image frame um, with some hooks on it with necklaces. And this is fairly easy. I found the image frame um, in a local store for I believe 2 euros. It was at Action, so it's really cheap and it already had the hooks on it, but I didn't like the frame. You will see it um, when I show you when I actually work on it. And I used black and white acrylic paint um, to paint the frame and then the image that's on the inside that you can't see right now because of the re reflection but I will show you in a minute and then afterwards I set the paint with some um, acrylic picture varnish um, this one is by Amsterdam it's the same brand as my acrylic paint you will obviously need some paint brushes um, something to cover your workspace with and a bucket of water to clean your brushes so let's get started so as you can see this is the plain wooden frame that I started with. It has these tiny coat rack like hooks on it and step one for me was to remove the sticker that was still on the back. Um, remove the backing so you can take out the glass and what is behind the glass it is actually wooden for this frame but be careful not to cut yourself. Once you have taken out the glass and the backing, you can just put these aside because we will need them later. Now it's time to take your paint brushes, some water to clean them and then your black acrylic paint. I applied paint directly onto the frame and then started spreading it out to cover the entire frame. You will also need to take care of the borders that you won't see from the front but that you might see from the side. These are the borders that go around the frame but also inside the frame. I had to take extra care not to paint over the hooks too much, so be careful when you're doing this. When you are done painting the actual frame, put it aside to let it dry and in the meantime we're gonna work on the backing. We're gonna repeat the exact same process for the frame as for the backing, so start by painting it completely black. I decided to put the image of a bat in the middle of my frame. I traced this onto paper from my computer, then cut it out. When I placed it onto the backing, I made sure that the paint was completely dry before applying the stencil, otherwise this will stick to it. I started tracing the image with white acrylic paint. Once I had traced the image, I started making details in white acrylic paint as well. To make my lines nice and crisp, I decided to go back over the white paint with a fine detail brush and some black paint, just to even out the edges. And this is what my final bed image looks like. Then it's time to apply varnish. I used spray varnish, but you can also use the liquid kind. If you use spray varnish, make sure to do this in a well-ventilated area and leave to dry for at least 24 hours. After reassembling all the pieces, this is what your final result should look like. I really like how I can put all of my necklaces onto this frame so I can see what I have in the morning when I decide what to wear. It makes it easier to overview what I have and what I don't. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more DIYs, please give it a thumbs up so that I know you enjoy this. Um, if you have suggestions for DIYs or things you've seen me wearing or showing you that you don't know how to make yourself, you can always leave it in the comments below and I will try to make a video out of it for you guys. And until next week, see you soon!